about um I was watching I was watching Connor with his leg snap and I'm like is this going to happen to more guys? Are we going to see more of this? 100%. Okay. Yeah, it's it's we've seen so many of them. It's, of course it's going to keep happening. Yeah. Chris Weidman, Anderson yeah. Silva, and you can go back down the line. And why? Corey Hill was the first one I ever saw. That was like uh that no one had seen that before. That was I'd only seen it on on video. I'd yeah. never seen it in lo- in real life when he threw a kick and the, the opponent checked it. I forget who he's fighting. And uh it snapped his fucking leg in half. And uh the referee didn't realize it. And so he went down and uh the referee hadn't noticed it and the other guy was beating him up and mm. I, I got up and I was yelling I took my headphones off and I was yelling stop the fight stop the fight but it's like I don't know if the ref could even hear me because mm. it's a crowded arena and and now he's down the other fighters pounding on him so it's like yeah. see who was fighting him I'm trying to remember who was fighting Corey Hill leg break uh, I just wonder it's like you see it happening more and more and then with the leg kicks seeming to play more of a role, and mm-hmm. I just, it's, it's gonna a, happen. Ugh. It's gonna, it's, we've seen it happen so many times. It happened with Anderson Silva, it happened with Chris Weidman, it's like, it, it, you know, leg yeah. breaking, arms breaking, it's it's part of the sport, it's gonna happen. I've, I've gotten into it. Like, I was a boxing purist. Have you been live? To an MMA fight in Miami, in the Hilton, it was like a small, Ooh. like, local one. And I'm telling you, I and this like pains me to even admit it because I'm just such a big boxing fan. But y- in order to really appreciate boxing, you kind of need to understand the sport. Mm-hmm. It's just one of those. It's like jujitsu or like one of those things. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't really get it. I don't know enough. You know what right, I mean? Right. But I'm sure if I knew a lot, I'd notice every little bit of nuance. It's almost like soccer. You know how they can appreciate not scoring. Like right. the whole thing is almost scoring. You're like, ooh, that was a good almost score. <laughs> and uh, but with. When I, when I see MMA, I can watch two guys I don't even know, never heard of them once. It is by far the most engaging fight sport. Because you don't even need to know the guys. Dale Hart. Dale Hart and I got hammered one night in the bar. Oh, my God. That Before or after? Oh, after. After the fight. But this was uh, the first time I Dale showing a lot of head right movement. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 and he's not tapping? So, he, he hear me. Oh, God, that's gnarly, dude. Yeah, look at his leg. Put, so I think... Stop the fight! 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 You didn't hear it. Oh, Corey fell down. Oh, his leg's broken! His leg's broken! Stop the fight! 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 is all over. Corey Hill! Yeah, that's just gnarly, dude. So that's me screaming. The re- I don't think the referee saw when it broke, but then he recognized it when it was down, that his, his leg was off at a <sighs> fucked up angle. That was the first time I'd ever seen that live. But now I've seen it several times. I've Are seen guys... arms break several times. Ooh. I've seen so many people get fucked up. Are you immune to it? Um, I'm a little numb to people getting injured, for sure. There's no way. You know, I've talked about this before, but if you looked at all of human history... The amount of people that have seen people get the fuck beaten out of them. I am in the upper, yeah. like, 1% in all of time. Yeah, it's you and, like, Genghis Khan. Well, he's seen people get fucked up in a different way. Yeah. That's chop their legs off and <laughs> use them, light them on fire and use them on a catapult. Like, Have you ever uh, listened to Dan Carlin's Hardcore History? No. Listen to me, man. Wrath of the Khans. It's a five-part series on hardcore history about Genghis Khan, hmm. and it is fucking amazing. It's amazing. I was obsessed with Genghis Khan for like three years after this. Why, why? He killed 10% of the population on Earth. 